Herkese merhaba arkadaşlar. Geçtiğimiz günlerde Schneider Elektriği'nin düzenlemiş olduğu Innovation Summit İstanbul etkinliğine katıldık ve bu etkinlikte gerçekten çarpıcı bilgilere ve görüntülere ulaştık. Etkinlik sırasında mikrofonumuzu Schneider Elektrik firmasının Global Endüstri İş Biriminden sorumlu başkan yardımcısı Peter Herveke uzattık ve kendisinden hem etkinlik hakkında hem de Schneider Elektriği'nin son gelişmeler hakkında detaylı bilgiler aldık. Uh, my name is Peter Herwig. I'm the Executive Vice President of Schneider Electric, responsible for all industry business globally. Happy to be with you. We want to bring you know, all the innovative technology and solutions that enable our customers to be more competitive. We want to bring it close to our customers. So we're, we're traveling from country to country. Uh, in this year, we have 14 innovation summits globally. And uh, within uh, this region, Turkey is very important to us. So we selected uh, Turkey as the, as the center and bridge between Europe, uh, Central Asia, and um, uh, also parts of Africa. And uh, from that perspective, it's a very important geography for us. So first of all, we have, uh, yesterday we've had uh, more than 2,000 registered uh, visitors come. Um, most of them, of course, um, uh, end customers, OEM customers, but also some of our distribution partners and system integrators. So it's a very large and good outcome. Now, we've brought uh, many of our new technologies uh, here, be it um, in respect to uh, digitization of data centers or buildings or of uh, industrial plants or of machinery and so forth. So digitization is really the, um, the means uh, for many many of our customers to create the next level uh, of productivity, the next level of safety and, and uh, the next level of changing their business models. So you know, if we, if we were to go 20 years back, uh, many companies established a CIO, who was the chief information officer, and his task was to implement an ERP system. So if you talk to many customers today, they are establishing a chief digital officer, a CDO, and their task is to really merge the operational technology and uh, the IT technology uh, to drive productivity for them or change business models. To give you um, one or the other example from the industrial space, in the past we were talking about connecting people. We were connecting people with um, mobile phones, not only with voice, but also uh, through applications and uh, through data. Now, uh, now we're talking about connecting um, machines with machines, uh, so they can talk to each other, machines to people, and um, utilizing technology that's uh, that's available today so that we can retrieve uh, more um, of the data out of um, uh, shop floors, plant floors, uh, to make them more productive. Today we're only using 10% uh, of the data that's available in, uh, in factories and on plant floors and in buildings. Now, if we're able to bring this up to 30 to 40 to 50% in the years to come, uh, with that we can create quite a bit of productivity for our customers. The, um, on the consumer side, we're of course um, uh, in the daily lives of our customers in uh, in buildings, be it with uh, switches and uh, sockets, be it with uh, building management systems, uh, be it uh, with uh, comfort control and so forth. In all of those areas, uh, digitization is also playing um, a tremendously important uh, role. Uh, if you take uh, the hotel where we are today here, for example, uh, by the time you enter the room or you get the room key, uh, the um, uh, the intelligent system of the hotel knows already that that you're coming. It will uh, adjust the um, uh, the climate control. Uh, to make it comfortable for you, it will um, it will understand how you move in the in the hotel and so forth. And with that, you can reduce uh, energy consumption of um, of the hotel, which is one of their large uh, cost drivers, for example. So it's a win-win for the end user as well as for the um, uh, for the owner and operator of the hotel. I met a lot of um, customers uh, yesterday, and they're all experienced businessmen. And uh, the task of business is to work in the environment that uh, exists. And I think they're all doing a fantastic job and so do our people here in uh, in, in Turkey. Uh, there are ups and downs in the economy and that's what we need to deal with as, as businessmen and we'll, uh, we'll try to do that as best as we can and support our customers as best as we can. Thank you very much. Evet arkadaşlar Peter Herbeck'i dinledik. Özellikle teknolojinin geleceği noktasında bizlere çok önemli açıklamalarda bulundu. İlerleyen dönemlerde dijital dönüşüm, bilginin dijital ortama taşınması, 5G, IoT ve tüketici elektronik noktasında çok önemli açıklamalar yaptı. Peki sizi bu teknolojiler ve gelecek hakkında en çok heyecanlandıran detaylar hangisi? Yorum olarak bizlerle paylaşırsanız seviniriz arkadaşlar. Bir başka videoda görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.